Algebra, Equations, Exam Preparation Questions, Part 3. Now, before I take you back where you can find it in the textbooks, this uh, work, I want to first just stop at this equation. When you look at this equation, compare it with the ones I did in the previous video. Do you see, if you look here, can I just show you? Okay, no, I don't want, I want to take a pen. Look at the denominators. Do you see that there is an X in the denominators? Now, if I take you back to the previous pages, okay. If I take you back, then you see in the denominator there was just a number. And that is the reason why this just worked out on a linear equation. Just X to the power of 1. Um, I, while I'm here at this page, I can just show you where to find these equations. It's from page 1 to 3 in the Namibia Mathematics textbook, Y equals MX plus C, the part 1 book, grade 10, 11. Okay, but let's go back to the example I want to do. So in this case, it's more challenging because now in the denominators, you see an expression like 2X plus 3. Do you see? Okay, but not. We're going to use the same method. So let's just check. What do we do? Put brackets around that. Did you see? I put brackets. Then find the LCM. Now, if it's if the insides are different, the, the two brackets are just the LCM. So just there's the LCM. If there was another number, say it was 1 over 5, then it would have just be 5 and the two brackets. But, but it's not there. So it's just the two brackets. Now, if you take all the terms and you multiply it with the LCM, so... LCM over 1, LCM over 1, LCM over 1. Now let's see what happens. So this cancel out and I'm just left with this. Okay, this brackets cancel out and I'm left with the 4 and I'm left with this. There you see, there's the first bracket. Okay, and then the last one, nothing cancel out and I'm left with the two brackets. So did you see, by cancelling out, I have no more, and multiplying with the LCM, there's no more fractions. Okay, and now, I, now you can just start solving the equation. So I multiply out the bracket. This just makes sure you multiply with the first, the second, multiply the first, multiply the second, and then you just add your life. So I get 6x minus 9. I get this. Um, I take everything to one side. Uh, that cancel out the 9s. And I'm just sitting. And now let's go for factorization. So take out an x. And then this bracket is equal to 0. This. And I get 0 and 9 over 2. And that's how I do it. Okay. So it's a bit more challenging. But you can do it. It's really not. It's also, it's almost like a recipe. You just follow the recipe. I want you to stop the video and do number one and two. And But again, first do one and then stop and then do two and stop. Okay. Let's start with number one. Okay. I just want to get that up. Okay. So if I start with number one, just want to move it a little bit to this side that my space is more. I first rewrite. So 1, and as soon as I rewrite, I, I always put the brackets. Okay. Now, what is my LCM? Now, as I said, if there's two different brackets, that's going to be your LCM. So I just want to still move it a little bit so that I'm not in the space of that. So the LCM is just going to be that x plus 1 and x plus 9. Usually it's not the most. In the textbooks you will find nice challenging ones. And try it, but start with the basics. So if I multiply here with the LCM, x plus 1, x plus 9 over 1. And I multiply here, x plus 1, x plus 9 over 1. And I multiply here x plus 1, x plus 9 over 1. Okay. And now I cancel out. So let's just see. This cancel, okay. Um, I will now write what is left. This one cancel there and there is the two brackets. So let's just start. So the first one is just going to be only that x plus 9. So x plus 9. 
The second one, don't forget your 9, and then it's x plus 1. It's almost like the example I did. And then the last one is the 2, the LCM. And x plus 9. Okay, and now I'm just going to multiply. So it's x plus 9 plus 9x plus 9 equals x. So this is going to be x squared plus 9x plus x plus 9. Okay, so if I'm taking now everything to one side, uh, you can first simplify. I'm just doing it now because sometimes you make unnecessary mistakes then. So um, this is going to be 10x plus 18 uh, this is unnecessary to do it but I'm just doing it now so this is 10x plus 9 so if I take everything to one side I'm going to get x squared okay let's first write what is on this side and then take over and if I simplify this this is going to see okay so do you see the 10x cancel? So it's going to be x squared. This is 9 minus 18, so it's negative 9. Oh, it's a nice one. Because this is difference between two squares. Do you see factorization? Not 9, but the square root of 9 is 3. So I'm basically ending with one bracket is equal to this, or this bracket is equal to this. So x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 3. Okay, and that is going, or if you can, can I just show you, you could have also done it differently here. You could have said x squared and take the 9 over, okay, and then take the square root, and then you would have also get plus 3 or x is negative 3. I just showed you. There was another method. Okay. Okay. Let's do the next one. So this is nice. It's really not. Don't see fractions and think, oh, I cannot do it. Let's just go to the next question. Just go and practice it, a few of them, so that they become familiar with you in your mind. Okay. Let's do number 2. I'm going to put it up a little bit so I have nice space. Okay, so if I look at number two, I always just rewrite. Do you see in the denominators, you see the unknowns? Then you must know, I think it's going to go to a quadratic equation. Okay, make this already a fraction, put already brackets. Now, just get your LCM. Now, in this case, my LCM will now be just the M on its own, and then the bracket M plus 4. Do you see? So it would have been nice, okay, sorry, I'm just going to rewrite this because I don't make enough space for me to, to write. So 4 over m, and then again enough space, and 6 over 1. Okay, so I multiply with the LCM, so it's m, m plus 4 over 1, so it's m, m plus 4 over 1, so it's m, m plus 4 over 1. Okay, so this cancel out, this cancel, I want to make it yellow, so this cancel out, this cancel out, and that is all there. So it's going to be 3m, I'm just going to just show you here, this is going to be 3m, that's what's left, you see, minus 4, m plus 4, and that's going to be 6m, m plus 4. So this is going to be 3m minus 4m minus 16 equals 6m squared plus 24m. Okay. So this is going to be just take everything over. Okay, but I can, it's not necessary that you do that. I'm just <laughs> showing because sometimes it's so easy to make unnecessary mistakes. Okay, so this is going to make it a zero. This is going to be 6m squared plus 24 plus um, 24m. Can you see the mistake? Plus m plus 16. So... This is going to be 6m squared 
plus 25m plus 16. What was the question saying? Show that the equation can be written. Oh, sorry, sorry. So I just had to show them that it come, became. Now, now, why? This is actually a very nice way when they set up examples like this. So that if you cannot get A, then just don't work with your incorrect answer. Then use A's answer and at least you can get this three or four marks by solving it. Okay, so always, it's actually very nice if they break it up. Then they help you. To, to get the B part at least, if you struggle with the A part. So keep in mind, if you struggle with A, you don't come to their value, don't spend too much time, uh, rather go to B and use their answer and make sure you get your three or your four marks. Okay, so number B. Now solve the equation. And now usually if they say, give your answer correct to two decimal places, you must know, use the formula. That's always the easy. They don't say completing the square. You can, but I don't think it's necessary. I think it's easier to make mistakes in that one. Okay, so let's just start here, um, and we're just going to go up. Okay, so again, what is my formula? I'm just going to say, I, I always write it first down. Minus B plus minus b squared minus 4ac, and please memorize it. Okay, so this is the value of a, this is the value of b, this is the value of c. So then I'm just going to say minus 25 plus minus 25 squared minus 4a6c16 over... 2a. So it's minus 25 plus minus, and now I'm this is 6 to 5. This is only one negative sign, so it's negative. If you multiply 4 times 6 times 16, you get 3, 8, 4. And you divide it by 12. And now, um, if I even simplify it a little bit further, then you get 2 for 1. And don't forget what I said. If you press it on the calculator, and I'm going to just read it to you. So, you're going to say negative 25 plus square root 241 equals divide 12. And I get negative 0 0.79. I hope that's for the positive route. Or, the other answer, um, oh, don't forget, it's not x. I made a mistake here. It was... You use the variable they have there. That was to get, actually, I want to correct it from here. So it was M. So this is M or M. Now it's negative 25 minus square root 241 equals divide 12. And it's negative 3.38. And that is your two answers, correct to two decimal places. Okay, so don't be afraid of the fractions, just practice it. And I'm ending again, just very short, always um, showing you where you can... Oh, this is my browser. Um, okay, so basically you can just check the bookshops, find them first, make sure they have stock. And then this is more for the teachers, the planning, through the ministry, you can order textbooks. I want to tell you that... All these textbooks of mine scored the best. They all scored above 90% um, in the knee it evaluation. So, and I think if I'm look, listening to the schools, especially who's performing very well, they all use it. So make sure that you also order for your school.